They're being called barricades of anger, the latest effort by protesters to pressure the ruling military council to hand over power to civilians. These prayers not only marking the Muslim Eid holiday, but also remembering those who cannot join them, the victims of what protesters say was a brutal massacre. Witnesses describe finding bodies burnt in tents after an attack by security forces on the camp in Khartoum that protesters saw as a shrine to their revolution. They say some of the dead were taken by armed forces and others dumped in the river. This video, which can't be verified, shows crowds gathering as bodies are pulled from the water. The military is being accused of trying to stop the violence being documented and shared by confiscating mobile phones. Next week we'll begin our civil disobedience. The military council has cut off the internet. They cut off the telecommunication networks to cover their crimes. We promise we'll unveil the military's ugly crimes committed on the streets, from killing to rape to humiliation to fear. We will continue this revolution. The crackdown appears to be continuing. Activists report raids by a paramilitary group on hospitals looking for injured protesters and the medical workers treating them. One of the rapid support forces came in and attacked me and he hit me here and over here as well. May God punish them. The doctors' union says the savage beatings suffered by patients and their colleagues are part of a wider campaign of violence. Yesterday we heard that two doctors have been raped and 30 women have been raped in one of the nearby um, uh, neighborhoods to the uh, headquarters of the military council. This situation cannot carry on. The military junta has apologized for the violence and says it will investigate. It's called for elections within nine months, something the opposition has rejected. We consider it a statement of a coup and a counterattack on the people's revolution. We refute it all from its beginning to the end. We refuse the call for an early election and we consider the statement of the military council conforms with the counter-revolution and is linked to the interests of the old regime. Just weeks ago, protesters gathered full of hope that talks with the military council were on the verge of a breakthrough. Now that hope has turned to anger, and protesters say they won't back down. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.